here we are again. And as I said in the previous version, other than, hey, Newt, be quiet, I said, you ask someone in Southern California for a lemon or an orange or a lime, and look what you get. These are uh, navel oranges from San Diego County. These are um, grapefruits from Norwalk in Los Angeles County. And these are uh, beautiful lemons from Orange County in Corona Del Mar. Now, I also, because I did a little uh, construction work, was given two extra bottles of vodka. This is the one I got from Costco for $13. We're going to make uh, the grapefruit cello in this one. We're going to make the lemon cello in this one. And we're going to make the uh, orange cello in this one. And we're going to do it fast because we don't want to spend four months waiting for it. So we're going to take a zester and then just zest the citrus right into this. So you have the little, uh, little curls of the zest and the oil, and it goes right into the bottle, and I bet it's ready to drink in a week. So, Newt, what do you think? What do you think? We're going to be able to do it? Yeah? Good. All right. Here we go. Three batches. Orange cello, grapefruit cello, and lemon cello. Today, on Fry the Chef. So I'm going to quickly show you how this works. Just grab your orange. You zest right into this huge Pyrex, which collects all the essential oils. Just like that, you get no pith, no whiteness. It really is the pure essence of the peel, which is what you're shooting for. This will save you months of uh, letting it sit up. So then we're gonna rinse this out and get all that oil off the side with the vodka and put everything back into the vodka. And you're gonna So have... I'm gonna bring this closer. You're gonna see all that uh, film. That's all oil from the zest. That's what makes the flavor. So now we're gonna take that and we're going to take our vodka and then just pour it along the sides and all that beautiful oil goes right in the vodka and then we're going to pour it back into the uh, vodka container and that lemon shell, or I'm sorry, the orange shell, that orange shell will be ready in uh, a week's time. So these chef tweezers made a difference getting all that uh, zest in there. But now we're just going to finish off the bottle. And you can see the, the zest does not take as much space up as the peel. And look at that. Right to the rim, full of orange zest. Let's make our grapefruit. Right in there, all the essential oils are captured. None of the white pith. That's what makes it bitter. Um, it sprays the side with the beautiful oil. And uh, that's what goes right into the vodka. We're going to speed the whole process up by about three months. Just going right for what you need. I'm not going to make all these grapefruits. I'm going to make about eight of them, maybe nine. And then uh, we'll use the rest in salads and for cooking because that's... Uh, a lot of fruit. You see how simple it is? All of it's washing on the side there. And we just go around the entire grapefruit, none of the white pith. And uh, that oil is what's going to make this so. Okay, that's eight grapefruits. And look at all that zest. Tons of oil. So we're going to put this in the Smirnoff. And you need to remove this white uh, cap assists in bartenders not pouring too much or people's parties so you don't take all the vodka we want it to flow out and we want to get those um, zests in there and uh, we just need to get that along the side that's beautiful so now we get our tongs and put the zest sort of like building a ship in the bottle if you're just building flavor in a bottle. And uh, these tongs you get at a restaurant supply store. Um, I think they cost all five bucks. Yeah, they did. Oh, we're just gonna pour it gently through the top. And that's where all the flavor is. So this is just gonna be a flavor catalyst. Get all that grapefruit goodness in there. There it goes. All right, I'd like to review 
what we're doing here. You got your free citrus from your friends. Where are you buying the store? It doesn't matter. You got some good vodka. I actually prefer the Smirnoff to the Absolute, um, but anything works. You can even use uh, regular alcohol, uh, Everclear. The secret to what I'm doing today is you get a nice Pyrex bowl that has a lip so you can pour things back in after you've zested. Get a really sharp brand new zester. This is a Messermeister, but any zester will do as long as it's sharp. You take your uh, citrus and get it in over the bowl so all the oil sprays in there. And that spraying oil is just the major flavor component of the, whatever cello you're making, whether it be lemon like this or the orange or the grapefruit. And then, um, man, it, it, you can just smell it right now. So essentially, you don't even need to let it set for too long because this is exactly the flavor you're going for. And uh, it's just coming out perfectly as you put it in the vodka. So you see that, that oil sprays all over there. When you're done, put your used fruit there. You're going to use that fruit for salads or cooking. Use the juice, uh, all kinds of components. So let's just finish. We'll do about uh, oh, two-thirds of these lemons and then uh, put it in the absolute bottle. So, here we go. One other thing, go to the kitchen supply store, get these uh, decorator tongs you use for placing things on plates, making them fancy. They're perfect for grabbing these uh, zests and sticking them back in the vodka bottle and it won't set you back anything. You can use regular tweezers, but they need to be fairly long and please wash them. All right, just like my t-shirt says, fin del mundo, which is end of the world. I got that in Ushuaia, my way to Antarctica. This is the end of the uh, lemon cello, so we're going to uh, wash the sides again. And I'm taking um, some of the back and just rubbing this, and you'll see the oil come down in a sheen. And we just get all of that in there. Just incredible. Here again, we have another security cap. This one looks a little bit tougher than the last one. Whoa! Got her out. Perfect. Um, so let's uh, rinse off the side of the bowl. There we go. And the more oil you get in there, the more intense the flavor. We're going to take our nice tongs, let the thing go, the bottle go over the zesting bowl. Grab as much as you can and just stuff it down there. That's why having them, uh, these are 10 inches long. Having a 10 inch long tong gets you down into the throat of the bottle. It makes it a lot easier. And uh, when we do our second phase, which I'll show you, we'll actually strain out all the uh, zest and then add the simple syrup to the bottle. And like I said, in one week this stuff will be ready, ready to drink. Um, the last one was four months because I forgot about it. Uh, this one, we'll have it on Valentine's Day, uh, at least the orange cello. I have a lot here, so <laughs> this will take a lot to drink. But there you go. We pour in the rest, and if you can see the color, I don't know if you can, it's super yellow already. So these are exquisite lemons from Corona Del Mar, my buddy's backyard. And uh, he just delivered them couple days ago. The other thing you need to know is you got to use your fruit as soon as you get it because um, the flavor of the fruit is freshest when it's picked fresh. So I can already see that the zest in contact with the vodka is growing pale in color and that means it's doing exactly what we want it to do. We want it to uh, lose its essence to the vodka and right now that essence is perfect so i'm fry the chef here we go 20 minutes we've made orange cello grapefruit cello classic lemon cello we wait for one week or in this case two days for valentine's day we make a simple syrup combine the two cup of sugar cup of water and your vodka and you've got it so hope you enjoy it hope you make it so I just wanted to show you at the end the beautiful color and the cloudiness from the oil that's in those various cellos. So um, here's our grapefruit, here's our orange, and here is the lemon. Wow, I'm Fry the Chef. That's a lot of cello.
time to strike up the band. Have a good day.